Hey guys, so I'm back with a swatch video which is dope because I've never done a swatch video before. So this is going to be my first one and it is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow if you can't already tell. But yeah, it's going to be Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek sent me a very generous, amazing care package which I have been in love with so i definitely wanted to share that with you guys and i want you guys to see what the shadows look like so i'm just going to briefly show you the palette i'm not going to go through every single one right now but um this is what the palette looks like first i kind of want to do a little review and tell you guys how i feel about the product the first thing that i want to mention here is pigmentation so the pigmentation of these eyeshadows are amazing it's not like you have to apply them over and over again to get the color like you are going to see the true color with one swipe with a brush immediately which is awesome because i feel like you you never really want to like be struggling with your eyeshadow because there's so many more things to struggle with in life and you just don't want to do it with your eyeshadow so that is definitely awesome about makeup geek eyeshadows because um everybody wants their eyeshadows to be pigmented like if you have an eyeshadow that's not that pigmented i really don't think you're gonna use it and waste your time because honestly like there are so many eyeshadows out there like girl just go and get one that treats you right you know so yeah so the pigmentation is amazing Next thing I want to talk about is quality. So the quality of these eyeshadows are amazing also. They definitely last on your eyes throughout the day. I'm going to be honest, I just got the eyeshadows like a week ago. And I probably dropped them two times because I drop all of my makeup so much. Like you would think that I just like throw them out the window like I don't even care. Because they drop all the time on me. Like comment below if you drop your makeup all the time and it shatters because I cannot have a makeup product for more than like a week without it shattering it's so frustrating but yeah so I dropped the palette and none of them broke which is great because it's kind of like a drop test because that could definitely be something to be concerned about when you purchase your eyeshadows because you want them to last and you want them to be durable so you could continuously wear them something else that i also want to mention is price for the quality of these eyeshadows the price is amazing like it can't get any better makeup geeks regular eyeshadows go for about six dollars in the pan let's say you go to mac which is really popular for their eyeshadows um if you buy you can buy them in the pan but if you do buy them in like the little um circle thingy they go for about 16 dollars well when i was working there they were 16 dollars i don't know if they raised them but they were 16 dollars and you can get one of these for six dollars and put it in a z palette i think you just can't really beat that price if you are interested in buying the foil shadow they're just more sparkly and as i said they are foiled they kind of look a little bit metallic and they're really shiny um, those go for $10. Again, that is an amazing price for an amazing eyeshadow and a really good quality eyeshadow. Like, you are so much better off buying a Makeup Geek shadow, which is amazing, half the price, and it's going to last you forever. Makeup Geek is just a great company to spend your money with if you are going to spend your money on makeup because we all know that makeup is very 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 expensive girl things are pricey so you definitely want to make sure that you make the right choice i think i covered everything that i wanted to cover so i'm gonna get right into the swatches now so enjoy guys okay so for the first shadow um this color is a beige sandy color as the name and then next we have tiki hut so tiki hut is very similar but it's more of a true neutral brown so that's also a great transition color these both of these are great transition colors so next color after tiki hut we have latte so latte is also a great transition color it's got a hint of like mauve in there as you can see it's a little bit purple not purple but does have muted purple tones in there so that's a very pretty color next color is frack Frappe. So this color is very similar to the last color also, but the reason why I'm doing this swatch video is so you guys can see the differences and see the very slight differences, which one's darker, which ones are very similar. So these are very similar. This one is almost the same and um, it's a little bit more pink than plum. 
So this is Wild West, which looks brown in the pan, but um, on my arm it's watching a little bit mauve, but it is a brown with some mauve hints in there too. So that's also very similar, but like a step up from the others that I just showed. So, so I think this color is a better transition color for someone who is like my skin tone or maybe a little bit darker, this would work. So now here we have Americano. So this is more of a purpley brown, just like the one that I just showed you, very similar, but um, a little bit darker. So like I said for the last one, this could be a good transition color for somebody my color or a little bit darker than me. Or if you want to create like a nice light smoky eye, this color would be good for that on somebody my complexion or darker also. So you have some different options with this color. It's a really pretty color and a good color to have. Now this one is Cinderella, which is like a frosty pink. It's very light, so you can hardly see this watch, but it's like a frosty light pink. That's what this color is. So now we have Cupcake, which is more of a pink, kind of, sort of, transition shade. It's very, very pretty. I actually love this color. I know I would use this color. So if you're into like pinks and purples, you would like this. And it's more of like a matte texture. Now we have Tuscan Sun, which is very similar to Cupcake, which is why I put them next to each other so you guys can see the differences. This one is a little bit lighter. It looks a little bit more pinky. Um, Cupcake looks like it has a little bit more of purple tones in them. So they are very, very similar, but both very pretty. But I think this one is a little bit um, pinker and kind of like brighter. The other one is a tad bit darker. I think they are very similar and both great to have, so it's more like preference with that one. So now here we have Carnival, which is more like a pastel purple, so it's pretty, it's a gorgeous color. It's kind of like a lavender eyeshadow, which is super fun to have. Um, I really honestly, I feel like not many other companies have a shadow like this, especially one that's not patchy and applies really well, as you can see from the swatch here. So it's very, um, Cream, not creamy, but um, glides on perfectly. So now we have the Fashion Addict, and this color is super cute. This is like a true purple. Um, it's definitely got like some pink, some pink tones in there. So that color is super cute. I love this color because I love purple. So if you're a purple lover too, you will definitely love this color because it's really, really pretty. So now we have Curfew which is kind of similar to the last color that I swatched, but definitely deeper. It's not so bright. So I feel like this one, it definitely reminds me of the MAC eyeshadow sketch. I know that eyeshadow is very popular, so it's a good comparison. But this one is definitely prettier. <laughs> so now this is Karma. And Karma is an interesting color because in the pan it kind of looks yellow, but when you put it on, it's more like of a mint green color. It's really, really beautiful. It's like, like I said, it's like a green color, but it definitely does have those like yellow specks in there. So it's gorgeous and definitely a unique color, which is awesome. Now this color is Typhoon, and this is just a very gorgeous, gorgeous sparkly green color so i love this color because this is perfect for like if you want to do a smoky eye oh my god it looks so gorgeous so i really love this color and i love the shimmer that it has in it because it's just perfect and that was only like two swipes and it's super pigmented so i love this one it's definitely one of my faves so now secret garden so this color is just gorgeous. On For some reason on camera it's looking really blue, but it's actually like a blue and a green. So um, this reminds me a lot of Max Pigment Blue Brown or something like that. I think it's blue brown, but it's very, very similar and it definitely reminds me of that color. And um, I mean, I guess you could say maybe like a teal, maybe like a deep teal color. But this is definitely gorgeous if you're looking for like something different and fun. This is definitely a great color to have. Now this one is Dirty Martini and this is like an army green kind of green. And it's more of a matte color. It doesn't have shimmer in it. So it's very pretty. And again, this one is like a different color. Maybe if you're looking for something fun. And then next one, Enchanted Forest. So again, this 
This one is kind of like a blue green, but only matte in the texture. And um, on the swatch, it got a little patchy, so I'm not sure if it's gonna do that on the eye, but the swatch was a little patchy. So now, as you can see, this one glides on really easily, the Morocco color, and this one's just like an orange, bright color, as you can see. So that's really different and really pretty, too. This one would be really gorgeous on like a very deep skin tone. I would love to use that and see that on a deeper skin tone. So let me know if you have a deeper skin tone and you use this color because I would like to see it because it's a really pretty color. So now this color is a blue color and this one is called Peacock and this one is just like a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I love this color blue because it just reminds me of like ocean blue. It's just so pretty, like a baby blue. It's just gorgeous. Don't know if I'll use this one very, very often, but it's so pretty and I love having it in my collection. So this is Corrupt, which is the blackest eyeshadow that you will ever be able to find. If you're looking for a good black eyeshadow, this is the one. This one is amazing and it's so black and so, so pigmented. You need this in your makeup collection. It's better than any other black that I've had. Now this is Glamorous, which is a very pretty gold color, and it is a shimmer color, but it's definitely not as shimmery as their foiled eyeshadows. Now this is Goddess, which kind of reminds me of Glamorous, but it's more of a red tone. So now I'm on to foiled shadows! So the first foil child that I'm going to show you is Starry Eyed. So right here, it's looking very, very silver on camera, but it's not silver. It's actually like a purple, pink, metallic. So it's very, very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills pink champagne color. Now Grandstand is a gorgeous, like rose gold, metallic, sparkly eyeshadow. So this one is gorgeous. It's definitely really, really pretty on a tan or deeper skin tone also. It's one of my faves, actually. Let me just throw that in there. So now we have Jester, which is just a gorgeous olive green color, and it's really, really pretty and really, really shimmery slash metallic -y. so this is an awesome color for like summer and um again i don't know why when i see this color like i just want to do a smoky eye so this color is really pretty and cool to add to your collection if you are looking for something new and bright so now this is flamethrower which is like an orange copper shade. Really pretty. You can't really tell on um, camera, but it's actually really, really sparkly and really gorgeous. Like, it's so pigmented. You need this in your life, whether you are really fair skin or you are very dark skin, you need this color. I'm telling you, girl, you're gonna thank me later, okay? <laughs> okay. So for the next color, this is Pegasus, which is like um, an icy blue color. This color is really different. Like I haven't seen many shades like this that swatch really beautifully and easily like this one did. It's just so pigmented and really, really pretty. It just reminds me of like an ice queen. Like, I don't know, it's just so pretty and another must-have eyeshadow. It's different, so... You want to have these little unique shadows in your collection, you know? Now, last eyeshadow, this is Houdini. It's like a navy color, really sparkly and metallic-y. It's just so gorgeous. Like, you need this one in your life. I know I said that about all the other ones, but, like, this one you really, really need. Like, really need. So, um, yeah, that's it for all of the shadows. Alright guys, so that is it for the swatch video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely leave a comment down below. And I love you guys. Bye!